in this video, I wanted to share with you kind of a fun little defense that I think you'll really enjoy out of the nickel 335 odd. This is a concept that I've been running all season long, and it's something that um, I really think is very simple to set up, but at the same time, it's also um, it's also very effective. It's going to basically force your opponent to have to adjust to it. I'm going to give you two different variations of the setup in this video, and I think you're going to really enjoy this. Now, um, if you're new to the channel or if you've not picked up my 335 odd ebook yet and you want to learn the entire defense, join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. Our Patreon membership includes all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. And in addition to that, you'll also be able to get access to all of our weekly exclusive updates and pro tips to kind of keep you on top of the meta in Madden. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below and you can go check that out for only $10 gets you access to everything. But we're going to be talking today about the LB cross three show two. And the way that we're going to run this defense is we're going to actually run this flipped and on baseline. And what I like to do with this is flip this. It's really good for bunch and really good for um, th this specific blitz that I'm going to show you is really, really, really good for bunch and really, really good for a lot of different formations. So all we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line down and then we are going to QB contain. And that's pretty much the setup. Now, um, you basically have a couple different choices and it comes down to where do you wanna stand with your user. What I like to do is stand right between this guard and tackle. Um, and you'll see what this five man version, this blitz is gonna absolutely scream off of that edge pretty much every single time. It's very difficult to pick this blitz up. It's also very good, I'll show you real quick. It's a real quick setup, which is really cool, but it's also really good against like a block tight end. You see here, that's a block tight end. We're still getting these kind of glitchy disengages. I will say one thing you can do that makes this like really good is when you spread your line, go ahead and spread your linebackers, and then you're just gonna reset your linebackers. It'll bring that guy back over the center, and then now you'll be able to kind of be over here, and I'll block the running back this time, and again, you'll see a lot of times this will disengage, and you'll still come in consistently against a blocked running back or against a blocked tight end. So it's very effective. Now, I'm gonna give you an alternate setup that I also really like, and what it is, is we're gonna spread our D-line, we're gonna actually pinch our linebackers, and we're going to QB contain. Uh, we're still gonna crash our line down too. Now I'm gonna use this guy right in the same spot. We're gonna basically try to loop from the other edge. And this is actually not as consistent, but it's really good in terms of, like it's, it's really good for certain types of things, okay? So again, you can just do, simply do this. You don't have to spread your line by any means, um, or I'm sorry, not spread your line, but pinch your linebackers. And again, a lot of times what you'll see is that this guy will loop around the edge. Um, he didn't do it that reason. Um, one of the reasons why he won't sometimes, and again, I like to reset the linebackers after I spread them. It just gives me a little bit better alignment, but I wanna really kind of come in like this and you see how we're getting these little pass offs. So that's one of the things that if you can get really good with your user, this can be a really, really good blitz for you because what you can do with this is you see how we're really overloading this left side. So if I kind of jab into the middle of the defense or the offensive line, a lot of times this will help with the, the blitz, especially the disengage on the right side of the screen. Now this one is a little bit more of a situational defense. It's actually much better if they're blocking, let's say they're blocking their tight end. This is a pretty good little defense for that. You see we're getting instant pass offs, instant swap offs with our defensive end. So that is something else that you can kind of add to your repertoire. Um, one other thing that you can also do, this is a little bit more of a bunch specific defense, but if you take this defender here, Savage, and we're gonna man him up on the running back, and then you're gonna actually use her this three rack hook, a lot of times this will kind of make this just a little bit better. You see how you're getting these really glitchy pass rush angles and um, just kind of putting you in a different position. So. That is how I like to run this. Another way that you could run it while I'm while I'm on the topic here is you can um, you can use her like over here. And if you use her over here, a lot of times you'll see that that a gap will become a little bit better because again you're going to drive that guard. Um, the a whole the whole meta this year, in my opinion, blitzing wise, 
is can you manipulate a guard it's why this right here is so good because i can really manipulate the guards and as you can see we can easily get pressure so the same thing is basically true if you wanted to invert this what i mean by that is let's say i wanted to use this guy and i want to put him on this right side guard okay something a little different and what you'll see is a lot of times that looper will come through he's not quite as sharp unfortunately as the other guy is but he's still very effective so these are a couple of different ways that you can run this defense um, you really want to kind of understand again I think how the defense works so let's say for example you wanted to run it this other way now what you can do is you can blitz this corner off the left or off the back side and you see here that this corner can come in and so this is how this defense can essentially not really need to be flipped and can still be very very effective if they flip their formation let's say let's say they flip their formation on us I'm just going to put that linebacker on the left side in a curl flat and we're going to blitz that slot corner just like this and then if we wanted to we could come over here and try to shoot the run and you'll see right here we're going to get these disengages and you see we get the edge pressure so that's a little bit of a way that you can kind of hedge your bet makes it a lot harder for them to flip their play on you um, if you wanted to run this defense so again real simple defense one last thing I did want to show you so like let's say that we did this a lot of times if you reset so like if let's say you move this guy over here you can blitz this guy right here and put him on a contain and then you can blitz this guy so it's a little bit more of a movement type thing but this right here is really really good pressure and again you can kind of use the safety so if you want to get a little bit more aggressive with this you'll see we'll get double edge and loop pressure that's just something you can kind of do if you want to mess around with it and then last thing i want to show you is if they max protect this is not a terrible defense by any means what we're going to do here uh, against the max protect is we're actually going to send the slot corner so what we can do from a coverage perspective is we could just recreate this real quick turn this into a cover two as you can see so we get good pressure um, and the pressure oftentimes will come off of that slot corner side as you can see so really glitchy little defense right here there's a lot you can do with this defense this is like i said this has been one of the best best um blitzing defenses for the last like i think since madden i want to say since madden 17 at the very earliest was when this was really popular but as you can see i mean this is it's going to force your opponent to have to max protect just to pick up a five-man pressure to me that's actually really really significant this year if you can force your opponent to max protect it really helps because now they're not going to be able to throw as many wheel routes your way and if you can get pressure against max protect even better because you're going to put them on that timer you see here they're the contain loops around and you're able to get that pressure so thanks for watching the video if you want to learn more about this defense there's a link in the description where you can go join our patreon for just ten dollars unlocks everything gets you all of the ebooks walks you through step by step exactly the best adjustments for bunch or trips how you run it how you blitz it how you play coverage against it how you stop the run you want to get better on defense i'd really encourage you to get into our patreon we've been dropping a lot of really good resources over the course of the last couple of uh couple of weeks in there and some major updates to all of our defensive material thanks for watching if you want to watch or check out the patreon head on down to the description of this video click the link down there and go check it out